Hello and welcome to your week commencing the 4th of January horoscope forecast for the sun or the ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please also check out your year 2021 personal horoscope forecast and character analysis combination based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you. This will give you searing insights as to what the next 12 months holds for you. From the time of order, you'll get full 12 months. So please don't think you're going to miss out on anything. Please see the link beneath this video for more information. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 4th of January. Now, this week sees some big changes in the heavens. Not least that Mars comes out of shadow in the sign of Aries, which for you is about friendships and your longer term future. If you've gone through some really big contemplations over the last half year, it wouldn't be a surprise, particularly if it's how you earn money or where you're most connected. These have been under constant review and it may have created quite a lot of tension. Now, Mars is actually going to be moving out of the sign of Aries and into the sign of Taurus on Wednesday. So for the next six weeks, the thinking that you've been doing is actually going to intensify. In fact, for the first seven months of this year, uh, the sign of Taurus is really strongly activated in your chart due to the role of Uranus. So over the next six weeks, Mars is there supporting that. And I think it's possible, particularly in the third week of January, that if there is something that has been a bit of a dilemma, that's when you're really going to have to face up to it and sort it once and for all. But you get an opportunity just to revisit anything that's outstanding around past pain, hurt, but particularly anger. And if there is any stuff still washing around in the depths, it may have been things that you thought you dealt with in the past, because my experience of emotions is that, yes, we can grieve. Yes, we can let go. Yes, we can set our intention. But it's amazing how the body remembers. And then something happens and all these emotions come up from the depths. And because you're a very mental sign in the sense that you're very intellectual, you work through the prism of air and communication, being in touch with your emotions can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. It's not true for all Geminis because some Geminis will have loads of cancer in their charts. Others may have a bit more Taurus. And of course it depends on how the house system is constructed in your situation, depending on exactly what your ascendant is. So therefore, you, you know, if you had your ascendant just behind your sun, you'd have a lot of 12th house and that would make you much more emotional. But essentially, you have this opportunity over these next few weeks because there's another part of you that is wanting to get on the front foot and be a bit more experimental. Your ruler Mercury forges actually a brilliant link with uh, Venus for much of this week. And that's going to see you sparkle. So there can be some good interactions. But Mercury also combines in a very serious way for much of this week with Pluto. So if there is something concerning a financial matter to do with a loan, a legacy, a debt, or perhaps to do with a property matter, there could be some intense conversations that you will have. But Mercury is moving on Friday into a much lighter and breezier part of your scope. Your ninth house moving into your sister air sign of Aquarius, joining up with Saturn and Jupiter in a conjunction. So something to do with that contract or that journey or that training or that knowledge or philosophy that's been so in your mind in recent times really comes under the astral microscope. But the problem is this cluster is all going to be clashing with the newly arrived Mars in the sign of Taurus. So if there is a situation that requires a bit of give and take, a bit of flexibility, and a bit of um, a bit of flexing to not necessarily your position. You may have to compromise a little bit to someone else's viewpoint, and that could create a little bit of a dilemma. But by the end of this week, both uh, Mercury and uh, Venus move. Venus moves into the sign of Capricorn, which actually. Do you know, for the next 21, 28 days, sorry, could be very good for you financially 
if you are involved in some kind of deep association with another person or you're trying to transact something that's very important. Now, Venus also trines up with Mars as you get to the end of this week. And the interesting thing about this is that there could be somebody in your world at the moment that actually have a much closer connection to than you may have previously realized. And if you have a conversation with them, it may be romantic there. So it could be someone you've known in the past and you're very friendly, but you never really thought, and then wallop. There could be some kind of connection, but it may not be a spoken connection. So watch out for someone's body language. On the other hand, Venus moving into a perfect angle with Mars could bring a degree of tranquility to a relationship that has felt a bit ragged. It just depends. Um, astrology is multifaceted simply because we're all different and we're all going through different scenarios. The whole thing that astrology knockers go on about, well, how can one twelfth of the world all be having the same kind of day? Astrologers never claim that anyway. We just say, this is the position for Gemini today in terms of the sun and the other associated planets. It's up to you to relate to those movements, to your particular situation. And if you really want to go further than that, obviously you can check out your ascendant as well. But I think this is a very important week and it can be to do with, with moving on and really progressing in your life. But you are going to have to watch out for something that's not quite obvious, slightly out of sight, a bit more psychological or even some opposition or someone's strategy which doesn't quite fit with what you are expecting.